as Taliban evaded the machine gun fire and soon after mortars as well. But the Taliban are well dug in here. A settlement outside the town of Goreshk. The sniper hemmed down one troop. Lads, take your f***ing clothes, lads. 3 0, 3 0, this is 3 2. Not B! Not B! Tell your lads to keep looking out to the left! Just keep looking out to the left! With big pit! Sniper fire coming down, mate! The situation was now critically dangerous. It was dealt with by this marine boat. A single shot of his mortar, the sniper silenced. Despite the fact that the Taliban positions have been under fire from the marines for about an hour now, and helicopters are included in the attack as well, the Taliban are still able to fire mortars. At least one landed at a little distance away from here in the last few minutes. Now, the Marines say that the original grid position when this battle started, they identified then as where the first mortars came from. They moved, it appears that they've moved back, and this fighting goes on. With a helicopter circling and firing into Taliban positions, the Marines of 4-2 Commando began to withdraw. But even as that withdrawal began, Taliban fighters continued to fire into their positions, bullets whizzing past our camera. Unknown to us, an ambush had also been planned, this time with rocket propellers on aid. The radio traffic says it all. It's clear that large numbers of Taliban and associated fighters are a major force in this area, likely channeled here by action elsewhere. The Marines are working on reconstruction, but there's a lot of other business to deal with as well. Stuart Ramsey, Sky News, Garesh, Afghanistan.